Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. It is now 10.23 p.m. And as you can see, I'm in my room. I am preparing for bed, but I did not want to put this video off any longer. It is a very small haul of things that I bought within the past week slash weekend. Um, last weekend, I went away to South Carolina for my aunt's funeral. And while I was there, I picked up a few things that it's uh, kind of hard for me to find here in New York. But I'm going to go to those really quick and then also some things that I bought since I've been home this week. And then I have a little uh, surprise, but not a surprise, but an announcement. So anyway, I'll jump into the haul first of all. So I went to uh, Dollar General while I was down there. We have a Dollar General here, but our Dollar General does not sell this brand of Frito-Lay sunflower seeds in the ranch flavor. I love these. So, I bought two for a dollar. I know most people would think, being that I can't get them, I would buy more than that. But, um, it takes me a while to eat them. So, these two are good for now. And then I'll be back down there in November. So, maybe I'll rack up then. Um, I also bought this can of boiled peanuts. Anybody that knows me knows that I love boiled peanuts. Um, it's hard, but not hard to find them here in New York. Depends on where you go. Like, I just found out that we have them at Stop and Shop. There's also um, a store, like a um, a vegetable stand in Brooklyn that I usually go to that I can get them from as well. But, yeah. It's not that easily, like, accessible to me right there. So, I bought a can of those. I actually had some fresh ones as well. Um, <clears throat> I went to Walmart while I was down there. And, of course, well, before I left, I lied. I got some, I went to Dollar General to get my ibuprofen. You guys know I need my ibuprofen. But when I went to Walmart, um, before I left, I did shopping for like travel size things that I would need as far as hygiene products. So when I was at my Dollar General, they didn't have the toothpaste that I like, which is uh, Ponamel, Sensodyne Ponamel. So I bought like a Colgate. But then once I got down there to Walmart, I found like the travel size Ponamel. So I'll just keep this in my bathroom here downstairs and then I'll keep my bigger size up in the upstairs bathroom but um so I didn't even have to use this because I did have the Colgate so I just kept this in my suitcase I actually thought I was going to use it while I was down there but ended up when I was looking for it I couldn't find it it was deep down in my suitcase so I just used whatever I had packed in my uh travel bag so which was the Colgate um I also bought from Walmart this spray by Paris Hilton. It's called Harris. And I don't really want to spray it. Because I just took a shower. But it smells so good. It's like so refreshing. It almost reminds me of something from Victoria's Secrets. Oh, it smells so good. I would have to check the Walmart here and see if they have it. I feel like, I believe this was like 7 something, seven ninety eight maybe. The peanuts were like a dollar something. The toothpaste was a dollar, the ibuprofen was like a dollar, and the sunflower seeds were two for a dollar. I also bought this Real Techniques, Real Techniques brush set. Some of you, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I did my first Real Techniques brush set back in like 2012 maybe. I feel like it was back in 2012 and I still have all of those brushes. But I bought this pack which has the... Um, I think the one that I have already has a foundation brush, a concealer brush, a contour brush, some eye brushes, which is like flat shader brushes and uh, sculpting brushes and brushes for highlight. Sorry, I'm looking at the brushes as I talk. So this package has um, a, oh gosh, sorry, it's taking me a while to get these out. A, um, this one has a foundation brush as well. So I'll have two. No, this one is bigger. This is foundation. The other one is for concealer. Not too sure if I'll use it for foundation. I really don't like flat brushes for foundation. But I might try it and see how I like it. I didn't have a brush that I used for foundation. I guess I'll do a review on all the brushes together. This is a um, domed shadow brush. I don't think I have this one. There was another shadow brush that was like for contouring that you're supposed to use here. I ended up, I use it now for my concealer instead, so I'll be able to use this here. Or I might switch it and start using this for concealer and using the other one. But 
I have to see which I like better. Oh, I just love that they're so soft. And then I also got this is a um a multitask brush is what it's called. But I'll probably end up using it for blush. And the one that I use for blush is actually a contour brush. I'll use that for contour and I'll use this for blush. And um yeah, the foundation brush is another all over face brush that I use now. So we'll see really this will just be for um like i said either concealer or for in my crease and my transition area this one i use for blush and this one will be for foundation and actually i bought that and then my cousin realized she had a brush that she bought a while back but she doesn't do makeup often so she doesn't use it but this is the expert face brush My cousin is talking to me and she wants me to let you know that she's talking to me. So she's in the corner whispering and she's like, Do you need me to turn the light off? Do you need me to turn the light off? Let them know I interrupted you. I think she sits and make, makes fun of my videos when she watches them. But anyway, as she laughs as she's going up the stairs, um, this is the expert face, bl face blush. So I might use this as well for foundation. Oh, this is so soft too. I'm gonna have to get some of these blushes and like gift them to people for Christmas. Yeah, this might be another foundation brush that I use. It looks like it might be good for contour as well. Hmm. I might go on YouTube and see some other ways that people use it. Hmm. Oh, it can be useful. Oh, highlight. That might work too. Huh. I might try this and see how I like it with my champagne pop highlighter. Oh. Okay, anyway, I'm getting all into that. And then when I got back home, I want to call her my makeup artist, but the uh, girl who I went to her makeup class, she was a, a MAC makeup artist. Now I think she does more freelancing. Um, told me, me and her are always on Facebook or we're always texting about makeup and how much we're addicted. But she told me about a mascara I should try. And she told me all the different stores I can go to. She said between... Walgreens, CVS, or Target, somebody has to have them. And she was like, she knew that CVS near her house definitely had them. And I live down the street from her, which I don't think she realized that. But so as soon as she told me that on, I want to say she told me that Monday. Monday afternoon, I think she told me that. So I went to work Monday overnight. And on the way home from work Tuesday, I stopped at CVS to get it. And I want to say it was 12 something, but... This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar. Now, I already love L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. It's amazing. So, I have high expectations for this. She already told me how good it is. And it comes with a, a primer, like a base on one side, which is, like, I'm assuming up here. But as you can see in the picture here, it's, like, white. And then it, I guess, it says Super Extending Ultra Elongating. Yeah, so... I am excited. I think that is everything. So like I said, it was a small haul, but I was rambling and then my cousin had her little debut. Well, not really. But I will do a review on these brushes after I use them and let you know exactly what I used each one of them for. This one will probably be the hardest one for me to use because I usually don't like the flat brushes for foundation. But I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. I think this will be blush. And maybe highlight. I, I actually want to try this for foundation too to see which one I like better. But I'll probably stick to the other one for foundation. And use this for like maybe highlighting. Or even use this one. I don't know. This one could be used. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Whether I want to use this one for contour. Oh, this might be good for contour. And then use the other one for blush and this for highlighting. That might work. I'll figure it out. I'll play with them and I'll go on YouTube and see how other people use them as well but anyway i thank you for watching this video i know i'm looking rough i just got out of the shower and i'm ready for bed but thank you for supporting me thank you for staying subscribed until the next video stay blessed